as had seen this video. Like I said, 1976 Copyright Act, Section 107. This is for the you know, allowances made for fair use for commentary, criticism, scholarship, news reporting, education. But here at the Upper West Squad, you know, overall for waking your ass up. Center. Behind the locked door painted with Big Bird is a one-year-old baby girl. Somehow, she has been left alone after closing. Her desperate father, who had come to pick her up, is recording the whole thing. And this is the moment firefighters and police pry open the door. With a flashlight, they spot little Jerry Jones crawling in pitch black darkness, crying but okay. Hear an officer comfort the whimpering little girl. And then you hear authorities search the daycare center. I, I can't imagine what it's like as a father to be at this place, hear your baby crying behind the door. You must have freaked out. I'm pacing back and forth. I'm frustrated. I'm angry. I'm, I got so many emotions going through my head at once, and I'm like, how did they leave a baby here? Journey is just fine today. Here she is with her mother, Quenisha. Mom is still upset about what happened. When I saw the video her dad recorded, it, it broke my heart even more. The drama unfolded at the All Things Are Possible for Kids daycare center in Chicago. Mom stayed home from work today to take care of Journey, who is safe and sound after a nightmarish ordeal. See what I'm saying? Even if it's, it, you know, it's ran by the Blancos or it's ran by Oreos, individuals with, you know, white on the inside and black on the outside, still have no respect for our children. Still not concerned about any of our children's safety. So a lot of times, that's what I'm saying, in that situation where, you know, you had our children eating last, that's that's the, you know, that's the least of what can happen many times to our children. In the dark, they claim that she looked like a little doll. We know one-year-olds remain active. All the way until they damn near sleep. You see, and yet left her alone? And, and they lucky that that's all that happened. But see, this is exactly what I'm talking about. You see, the other thing that kind of got to me too, you know, obviously rest in power to DMX passed away. Uh, and it was someone who made a comment, uh, you know, under one of his videos and they were uh, talking about how, why are we heralding and why are we, you know, commemorating this individual when, you know, he had said he had died over a, a drug overdose who know about what happened to him, you know, and then we don't want to go down and rabbit hole because, you know, we don't want to be labeled as conspiracy theorists, but we do know that he had got the jab the week before, but we digress. The fact of the matter is, it's like what I, you know, relate to her was that how insensitive are you? The reason being is because we don't have no room to be judgmental. Why? Because this is a thing. It shows you how, one, how much control the Blanco has over our mentality. Remember what I talked about or was said by that African philosopher stated that the first one to the mind is, is the winner. And we notice that the Blanco has, you know, whatever he deems or whatever they deem, rather, because it's a system, let me not say that. Whatever they deem to be good or whatever they deem to be bad is, is, is what they deem to be good and, de and deem to be bad, right? And we embrace that wholeheartedly without any question. So the fact of the matter is, is that when we take a look at his drugs, now look at what the control the Blanco has over our mentality. Remember what I talked about or was said by that African philosopher said that the first one to the mind is, is the winner. And we notice that the Blanco has, you know, whatever he deems or whatever they deem, rather, because it's a system, let me not say that. Whatever they deem to be good or whatever they deem to be bad is, is, is what they deem to be good and, de and deem to be bad, right? And we embrace that wholeheartedly without any question. So the fact of the matter is, is that and when we take a look at his drugs now, look at one drug, you know, alcohol, cigarettes. He's killed people, millions of people. But since it's legal, we don't have anything to say about it. You see what I'm saying? Even though we say that it may be bad, but it's not going to tarnish an individual's legacy, when, but it leads you to the same eventuality, death. You see, and then you got to think about it. When the number one metabolic illness known to man is diabetes, right? And remember, type 2 diabetes, because type 1 is rare. That means you're born with it. Over 95 to 97% of cases of type two, uh, of diabetes of the diabetic population is type 2. 
Now think about it. He names it high fructose corn syrup and sugar. And you know, that's the layman terms. But in his lab, these are 12, 15 letter words. Now any Blanco scientist, which really don't exist, will tell you that the same centers of the brain are activated with, co with cocaine as there is with sugar. It's a drug. Yet can you stop eating the junk food? Can you go without candy for the rest of your life? You see what I'm saying? So we gotta prevent ourselves from being judgmental and understand that just because he made it legal, don't make it right. You see, so that was one of the things that I wanted to get to. And then, you know, what we're gonna do is we're gonna juxtapose two videos uh, uh, against one another. And we're gonna show you the differences. You see, and we're gonna get right into it because this is deep. I said 1976 Copyright Act, Section 107. All right, let's get to it. We don't wonder what happens to the damn dog. We know these Blancos love these damn dogs. They'll take a dog deaf, dumb, and blind. The dog could be deaf, 
blind, it can have one leg, two legs, three legs. They trying to say that mutt. You see what I'm saying there? You gotta think about that. Now think about the previous video that you had just seen. You have Blancos trying to justify why you're, you're looking for, or searching for or won't you provide justification why you should even be alive. Why your life should even matter. Yet, they, they let a dog force them to lose limbs. And, and then, this is the thing, she wasn't even afraid to kiss the dog on the mouth after that. I would have been afraid to touch the dog. I lose my arms and legs. This is what you're dealing with. If we in the same boat, we on the damn Titanic because we all going to sink with that shit. This logic. This logic going to lead us to, to, to hit an iceberg. Now, see, even shouts out to Albert 432. Uh, when he had, you know, he was talking about, he was alluding to something that I had brought out in one of my other videos when I was talking about how, you know, the other form of the Blancos, the Asians, they sit up there, whatever that they, they, they take part of these rituals that they take part in when they're consuming us because they're harvesting us. You see what I'm saying? And then the news report had stated that human penises on a cargo ship from Nigeria, over 7,000 black human penises. Okay. And and, and, and and this is the thing, like we said, like I told you before, you sisters, when you have a son, they, they snip that foreskin, that foreskin sells for between a hundred and uh, to hundred and fifty thousand dollars. And they put that in Blanco women's makeup to help them stay young. And we all the same? Yeah. You can't who got an argument against me? We all the same though. But we being harvested. I don't see them chopping off. Blanco men, uh, uh, penises. I don't see them needing extra pinkies. Look, let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you something. We're going to read a couple articles just to put this stuff into perspective. Now, just to let you know who you're around. I don't know if you can see this. What it says, I'm gonna read it for you. 80 freshwater fish species have gone extinct. 16 in 2020 alone. All right? Now, why is that so? Let's read. It's another article by Reuters. What does it say? All eyes on Tokyo, says Beijing, as Japan reportedly plans to sign off on dumping nuclear wastewater into the sea. Yes. This is what you're dealing with. That's why I told you. What are you willing to sacrifice to give up for a check? Him to continue to keep destroying this realm? For him to keep manipulating you saying that you're in the same boat as him? Okay? Because it's going to get to a head. And I'm gonna show you how. I know. I don't know whether or not you've been aware of what was ha happening along in the, in, in the Caribbean, right? Now this is from Reuters too as well. It's an article that just came out not too long ago. And look, what does it say? Only the vaccinated will be saved. Confusion after St. Vincent PM says only those with COVID jab can flee volcano on cruise ships. That's the ultimatum that's being provided. You want to get on these cruise ships to save your life? Take the jab. Let's read. As a volcanic eruption cast a pall of ash over the Caribbean island of St. Vincent, tens of thousands fled, but eyebrows were raised after the island's nation's prime minister said they weren't going anywhere without a COVID shot. You know this is going to take place. So this is just, this is the, come on. See, that's why you got to start taking this stuff seriously. You, you know, you're not, and I'm trying to, everybody like says that, you know, I'm dividing, you know, I'm, 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 I'm about that division too. Nah, I'm just letting you know that you're not in the same boat. We're being harvested. Ain't no ifs, ands, and buts about it. You see what I'm saying? So, look, you, you know, if you don't start taking this serious, trust me, you will get swept up in it. You'll get swept up in it. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, and like I said, what I'm providing y'all with, man, is arcane information. How do I know? Look, this is a book that you definitely have to have in your library. What is The Rise of Yeast? How the Sugar Fungus Shapes Civilization. Now, Nicholas P. Money, right? Now, we already know that that's probably a pseudonym because, you know, they, they don't like to get their real names up. 
you know, but they're, they're, they're letting out this information. Now, what did we talk about before? Remember I was saying that, you, you know, we had shown a segment where Professor Delgado in the 60s, how they were remote controlling the bull's brain to prevent it from charging, you know, prevent it, uh, you know, modifying his behavior. And now they said that we have non-invasive uh, forms of technology where we modify the behavior of mental, mental patients, and they were doing that in the Soviet Union, right, with radio frequencies, okay? Now, is that in your textbook? I'm an 80s baby. We weren't learning that in school. I didn't learn that in college. Okay? So the thing is, if you're not going to get the right intel from the schools, why are we there in the first place? What you have to understand is he had placed a vampire, a living entity, already inside of you, leeching off of you. We're going to read. And this is chemist talking, right? Anton, Anton von Leeuwenhoek examined them in drops of beer in 1680, although he did not consider that these tiny globules were alive. See, they didn't even know it was alive, supposedly, at the time, or what they tell us. Okay, so remember how the science always changes. They, they, you know, they're wrong 99.9% .9 of the time because there's no such thing as the block of scientists. Now, read this to you. The allure of alcohol is undeniable. If yeast had never evolved, we would have been forced to invent it. Wine and beer change our perception of the moment, can make us glory in life, and can be our downfall when absorbed too freely. Alcohol can help us slide from heaven to hell and vice versa. It bathes the central nervous system, acting both as a powerful stimulant and depressant, which explains the effects of different doses ranging from mild euphoria to death. It's legality allows us to overlook the true nature of this yeast product as a potent psychoactive drug. Okay, remember I told you before, when he makes it legal, you're overlooking the fact that this is an organism that is invading you, that feeds off of glucose. Glucose is what your body breaks, is a sugar component that you break everything, every other sugar down to. It's the only sugar that the blood runs off of. And, it's the, and it just happens to be the sugar that yeast feeds off of. To appreciate the power of yeast, we must define what it produces. Alcohol is one thing and many things. It refers to ethyl alcohol or ethanol and to members of the class of chemicals with a similar structure. Chemicals ending in OL, which signifies the presence of a hydroxyl group, are alcohols. Here, however, alcohol will be used in the colloquial sense to refer to ethanol. So you have to understand, everything in OL is an alcohol. So menthol cigarettes, that's an alcohol. This man literally puts alcohol in your cigarettes and yeast feed off it because yeast can actually consume alcohol, even though it poops it out. Okay? And then that's how it destroys other yeast that competes with it, by secreting alcohol. And you wonder why these drunks can go through, if you drink, you can go through a pack or two by drinking because the, the yeast will consume the alcohol in the cigarettes that you smoke. Man, where have you heard this before? Let me know if any YouTuber has informed you, because ain't nobody no alchemist that you're dealing with. Let's read. And I'm going to show you why you're the perfect host. Yeast uses glucose and other sugars to fuel the dynamism of its cells. Energy is harvested from these molecules by splitting them into smaller parts and stripping energized electrons from their component atoms. Stripping electrons is called oxidation. When there is enough oxygen around, yeast has the option of breaking down glucose through two sets of reactions, capturing energy along the way and leaving nothing in its wake but water and carbon dioxide. Stage one is called glyco glycolysis, uh, glycolysis, I'm sorry, and stage two is a citric acid cycle. This process of aerobic respiration is like a controlled burn that brings the maximum amount of energy from the available fuel. Oxygen puts yeast into overdrive, and the fungus roars along like a Ferrari. That's why, and it stays in moist areas, the lungs, it's in your mouth, it's in your nose, it's in, you know, in your ears, it's in, it's in the groin area especially. And it lives and thrives there. Because the, our body stores glucose in the form of what's called glycogen. That's why these, these blockos tell you, oh, if you don't use it, you lose it. Why? Who are you losing it to? All the asthma, all the, man, come on, man. When you breathe in, you're breathing for it, especially if you're feeding it. That's why I told you about the high fructose corn syrup they made. Remember, it's 50 to almost 100 times sugar, uh, sweeter than regular sugar. And they made it in a lab. 
and you can't taste it because you're feeding this vampire and they're feeding this vampire inside of you without you even knowing it. But yet this is why these bottles have been telling you that high fructose corn syrup is dangerous and you